All right, guys, welcome back to part five of this assignment. So what we're going to do today is a little bit different than what we've done uh, in other other times. So what I want to do is come over here and use our rectangle tool. That's under our rectangle frame tool. So we're not using the frame tool. We're actually making a rectangle because we want to make a little pattern design. So I want to hold shift, and then I want to get real close up in here on it so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, and I want to make this paper colored or white. Okay, and then I want to come into my stroke, and I want to do none. I don't want any stroke on this. Okay, uh, I have my white frame here, and what you want to do is you want to go to Object, Transform, and Move. And we're going to make sure that this is, uh, we're going 0.5 here. Actually, let's go to 0.6. Okay, so when I click preview, you'll see that it moves down. And what I want to do is we're moving it down vertically 0.6, and we're going to hit copy. So now we have that spacing right there. All right. And then all we want to do is go to select the new one, go to object, transform again. Oh, it's not going to let me do a transform again. Okay, so we're going to go to object, transform, and move, and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to copy it. Uh, and then if you keep clicking transform again, go to object and transform again. So now we have five. Okay, so now we can select all of them. We can go back to our object. We can go to transform and move. And instead of 0.6 vertically, we're going to take that back to zero. And then we're going to click preview. We're going to hold it, go in horizontal, and we're going to go 0.6 there and hit tab. You'll see they move over. We're going to copy them again. So now we're moving horizontally instead of vertically. So now look, I've got that brand new. We're going to go to object, transform again, transform again. And we're going to do that until we have uh, until we have all of it the set the same way. So boom. Now we have a 5x5 five five square. And look, it's very uniform. Like if you look in here, you can get little blurry uh, circles inside of here. So we want to group these together. We're going to highlight all of them. We're going to do object and group. Okay. And then we're going to move it over here to our top left corner. And we're going to go shift and alt at the same time. We're going to bring them in. Okay. Make them a little bit smaller. And then I want to change the opacity to 50%. just to kind of give it, give that uh, ghost look to it. Okay, and you want to make sure that you are uh, able to type over this. So what I want to do now is I just want to draw a text box right here over the top of all this, and it's going to say free Wi-Fi, and we're going to go control A to select all of it. We want to make our size of our font uh, 48, okay, and we want to center it. Now, uh, it might go a little bit smaller than 48. Let's go down to 40 so that I can do this. So if I'm over here in the text part, you'll see I have this big TT that's all caps. So we make that all caps. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to go to the very first text that you can find is a body, MT condensed, and that's going to make it this blocky text, Okay. Now, while while we're in InDesign, we have a lot of different text uh, editing options. So you've got up here, you've got your kerning. Now, kerning is the space between uh, individual letters. I'm not too worried about that. But then you've got your tracking. Tracking is the space between all letters. So what I want to do is I want to space this out a little bit, and then I'm going to come down to Wi-Fi and just highlight that, and I'm going to space it out a little bit more so it gets kind of even with free Wi-Fi. And then I want to highlight all of it because we're going to go into our letting, okay? We worked on a little bit of letting in Photoshop. Uh, so right here is our letting. We want to go to 10 points, and then we're going to move it up from there. And we want to put this at 31 points of letting. That means it's not going to have as much space between the lines. It's going to be able to be seen and uh, be a little bit more easy to read. And to make it easier, even more easier to read, we're just going to make it white-colored, paper-colored, okay? 
with a black stroke, okay? So just like that, I've got free Wi-Fi up here in the top corner. If I hit W to see how this looks, this is how it would look, and you can bring in and edit this to make it a little bit more center. Okay, so free Wi-Fi. All right, guys, let's go ahead and save this. This is our fifth version of it. All right, so flyer five dash last name, okay, underscore last name, and uh, great job.